the first time that I was introduced to the idea of critical thinking was in my first year of college here. And we were told by many different lecturers that studying arts would enable us to think critically and to be able to analyze things in different parts of our lives. And at the time I was a bit skeptical. I kind of thought, you know, will, am I gonna be able to do this? What does this really mean? And now that I'm in my final year, I find myself looking at things or interacting in certain ways throughout my life and thinking, wow, you know, maybe that person's being a bit biased or maybe that journal, that journal or that article in the newspaper is a bit um, biased as well, or looking at a piece of art as well, thinking, I wonder why they chose to do that or, you know, analyzing it in certain ways. Um, so without me knowing uh, through college, I've formed this ability to be able to objectively look at things, be very observant and informed in my, the way that I form my opinions. Um, and that's basically just from being able to critically analyze things that I've learned through my four years of college studying English and human rights and sociology. Uh, critical thinking is kind of a new aspect of studying that I learned and coming to NUIG in first year and is a vital piece of um, learning to uh, equip yourself in getting a degree in NUIG and researching literature, uh, it's, it's vital in, um, in learning. Well, on my first year in college, I was asked what I thought and what were my opinions. And I found this to be really bewildering because I was never asked this before in second level. I was always told how I should think about things. I was never asked my opinions because in second level, they didn't really matter. But in college, I was always asked to think for myself and to really like criticize texts and different opinions. But it was just completely alien thought altogether. However, in college, they give you the tools and the skills to really research and really develop your thoughts critically and to really use these in your essays to make them more academic than personal. And it's just a really professional approach to writing skills and to developing yourself professionally and your written work. Uh, the need for thinking critically is perhaps the biggest leap I had to make coming to college. It was a far cry from the rote learning of the Leave Insert, but it was something that came organically throughout my first year of college, you know, approaching texts and actually analysing um, the viewpoints and the, the context behind them. Um, it defines, you know, how, you know, it's the difference between a good answer and maybe a great answer um, when you're doing an essay or a test or anything like that. Um, aside from just college, um, learning to think critically actually expands far beyond that, you know, it, it's one of those things that now uh, reaches into day-to-day -day life where you're looking at a news report or you're reading the newspaper and you're thinking, what's the agenda here? What does this actually mean? Um, and to be honest, it's been perhaps the most uh, important tool that I've developed over the last three years.